because these teams are both outstanding and you're looking at a great kick returner you just saw there in Maurice Thomas he and Tyre Shelton awaiting the kickoff from the Raging Cajuns and this is going to be Thomas with a chance he returned 197 yards to open the MAC championship game and he takes off down the far sideline and he'll be run out of bounds in between the 25 and 30 yard lines it's like it's going to be around the 26. First completion of the game is going to go to Jack Sorensen, a reliable receiver for this Miami team. He's going to gain nine. It's Bester again, and this is, I don't think he made it, Gene. I think he's going to be about a yard short in the middle of that defense led by Farad Gardner. Number to throw some vertical routes. Elijah Mitchell is the tailback. He stays in the block, and there is a dart, a beautiful throw caught by Bradley, and he fumbled the football around the 48-yard line. I believe he got it back. What a fine throw by Lewis. Third down and two as the officials move the spot. They beef up the blocking with Ralston, the tight end, 22. This is Mitchell, and this is close. At the initial spot is he didn't make it. Gabber comes out firing this time and hits again one more time. Sorensen had three connections, all of them to Sorensen for 29 yards. He looks that way again and a fine catch at the 34-yard line and it's Sorensen one more time. Yeah, guys, Brett Gabbert. Brett Gabbert told us the greatest challenge he faced as a freshman was the speed of the game at this level. Things Shelton in the backfield for the first time gets the catch, bounces off a couple of good blocks, lowers his shoulder, and he is very close to another first down. Play action fake. Gabbert wants the deep shot. He's in trouble and down he goes. The first sack, the 31st sack of the season. Chris Moncrief, his fifth individually, a loss of five. And they'll go to the ground. And Bester will not get very far at all. So again, the field position game perhaps on the mind of the Red Hawks. Something negative is happening. These guys got to stay out of these negative plays. Straight ahead goes Shelton. And he breaks free. At the 42-yard line, he was on his way. Gabbert, short drop, comes out firing, caught. 32-yard line, one more grab for Jack Sorensen. Aims him some trouble here and can not get loose. Hurled down by Joe Dillon. Seven and a half sacks for Dillon on the season. Five, six, seven yards are going to be in range for their field goal kicker. He's going to go again. I think that's a first down. A long throw right at the marker. That's just caught at the 20-yard line by Jalen Walker. He stays in the block this time. Gabbard's going to take off. Makes one cut. And he'll be short of the first down. Here comes a penalty marker. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number 17. We'll move a little further down the field. I think it's actually number two, as we just showed you. So to the ground. And very close goes Jalen Bester. He is in. Touchdown, Miami Red Hawks. Lewis, will he run it? No, he'll throw it. And a fine catch made there by Bradley. And Bradley will get it to right around midfield, maybe even a... Flags down here, might be an offside. Lewis will throw. Oh, a fine catch made inside the 20, inside the 15 by Gossett. Let's see if this is an offside. Indeed, everybody's heading down the field as if this play is going to count. Catch. There's no question it's going to count. I love the call. Defense number 49. He drew that penalty is a free play. Result of the play is the first down. Yeah, we're going to get him to draw. We're going to draw him offsides. Watch the offensive line. They never move. They got their one-on-one -on -one shot down the field with Gossett. Little lob, and the receiver got completely turned around. I'm not sure what happened with Jamarcus Bradley. He would. And the Raging Cajuns are on the board. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> he did okay for you that one year, though. Oh, That's dude. what I've heard. Oh, Lewis. Wow, what a terrific throw. Jalen Williams is liking Weatherford on the coverage. Wow, what a throw this is. Boy, he put it right in there. They ran a corner route. Lewis. In some trouble. He's got room to run. Gets a key block downfield. First down. 
To the ground they go to Mitchell. Mitchell to the 10. Mitchell bouncing off defenders. Gets inside the five-yard line. Down to the four. Stays in. Power package here. Mitchell lowers the shoulders and fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana. They take the lead. The long throw. Tackle broken there by Bradley. Bradley will get a first down. He'll get just shy of midfield before a few Red Hawks tacklers. And back to the ground we go. And into Red Hawks territory goes Mitchell. And he'll get to the 44-yard line. Fake to Mitchell. Lewis wants the deep shot. Instead goes for the intermediate route instead, and it pays off. A solid catch by Jalen Williams. He it's Regis on the handoff. Another first down for the Raging Cajuns. First and goal. Turns, fakes to Regis. Pressure coming from the edge. Lewis stays alive. Throws, 20 ends up wide open. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. The catch by Jamarcus Bradley. For the freshman, Brett Gabbard is going to throw on first down. Long throw, catch, 32-yard line made by Cam Blakely. And Blakely gets a first down for the Red Hawks at the 36. Going to keep it here. Once Sorensen, he got him. And that's another first down. He was well covered. Fake to Bester, stays in the block. Gabbard's got all day. Fires Sorensen again with a catch. And he is belted at the 30-yard line. But... Gabbard wants his man underneath. He's got him. And that's Andrew Homer, the tight end, with his first reception. And he has a first down. Right now, it's been all Gabbard. This time they'll dump it off, and Louisiana has read it. And that was diagnosed by Farad Gardner. And he just tossed Jalen Walker to the turn. Low snap. Just. It's automatic. This guy's going to get drafted, isn't he, Gene? He's got a chance. They don't draft many characters, but this one would have a chance. I knew he might have a special season. Lewis. He'll take off. Oh, look at him go. Look at Lewis go! And he's outside the 35. But they got to build a trap for the quarterback. He steps up the pocket. Throws right down the gut of the field. A catch made by Jamal Bell, who is a big play player. Decision making. Back to the ground we go, and breaking tackles is Raymond Calais. Calais close to the first down, and a scuffle back at the 35-yard line. The officials quick to break it up. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 58. Gets in a little tussle on the ground, it looks like. You know, sometimes those things happen. He's under the pile, fighting his way back up. Well, he had a little two-point takedown there. At Tunnel screen. Oh, this is a chance to be big, and it's a touchdown. Jamarcus Bradley. Play action. Fake Gabbard gets rid of it quickly. Who else but Sorensen? First down. Red Hawks. Bester again. That's going to be a first down. Took a few Louisiana defenders to ride him down. Gabbard. Slant. Walker. First down, Miami! Gabbard in trouble, avoids the sack, chucks it, caught Walker, makes one spin, Walker with a great move, and he's elbowed out of bounds. It's Bester again. We're not arguing about this one anymore. Nope. Nope. This one will stay on the board. Here I see corners playing off. There we go. And Gabbard saw that too. Sorensen with a career high tonight in catches. That's his 10th first down of the 38-yard line. He gets it. Pops through a hole. And he'll be stopped. Two yards shy of the first down after an eight-yard pickup. They go to the ground for Bester. This is close. Ball came out, but he's ruled down. And it, it looks to me, Gene, that they are short. The further time. review, the runner fumbled the ball, and there was a clear recovery by number 97 of the defense. Eight straight games. There must be an angle that I can't see. I just, I couldn't see it, Dave. I, I just never saw the ball loose before his back hit. Well, I'll be honest with you, Gene. If we can't see the angle, how do they see the angle? Yeah, I don't know. We share the same. Because it's got to be, yeah, it's got to be a definitive. 
It's got to be definitive. Do you see it definitive? Not definitive. Not, not to me. Two, two. But the 48-yard line for Louisiana. And they'll go to the ground. They'll go to Mitchell, who's played well. He breaks tackles. He carries tacklers. And Mitchell will have a first down. Lewis. Scrambling. He can keep it. He will. Stays in bounds and pick up a few extra yards. Looked like he might go out early to save. On the carry. Well, it's pretty close. Stayed in bounds. That's a big thing. It is on the way. It is certainly long enough. And he nailed it. Throwing it right now. That can he can deal it out there. Yeah, we're in trouble. Hit as he throws his pass. There's a marker down. Pass interference, defense, number 59. Miami has life. Play action fake. Gabbert, gonna take a deep shot. Has a man open! Caught 20 yard line! T10, to the five! Fighting for the end zone for the extra yard! Down to the two yard line! The play made by James May! No bad step! Unbelievable! How does that Lewis running all the way. Didn't get there. He's going to be short a yard. And Miami cannot stop the clock with a timeout. Gabbard scrambling. Set. That's it. The one, a couple of things that couldn't happen just happened. Sacked. Done by Zion Hill, the redshirt sophomore. That's sack number three tonight. Love the game of football. And, and he, <laughs> he didn't like the answer. He, didn't like the, he really didn't. And, and look, hats off to both of these coaches. Great seasons for both of them. And uh, we wish them well for sure. Crown of champions of the Lending Tree Bowl. The Raging Cajuns of Louisiana. Billy Napier gets the bowl win.